Okay, let's do this quick. Two Minute Tuesday, the difference between Magnetic North and Geographic North. Let's go. Hey everyone, welcome back to the madness. I'm really gonna try and do this one in two minutes. I don't know if I can. Uh, okay, so last week I was watching a video. I follow a couple that do travel videos, a couple named Kara and Nate, super popular YouTubers. Uh, I found them during the pandemic because they were um, transitioning from travel to van life, and that was when I found them. And right now they're doing a super cool cruise to the North Pole. It makes me want to do a cruise, even though I could never afford a $40,000 cruise to the North Pole, and I would want to kayak, and I couldn't kayak. So in any case, super cool cruise, really neat ship. And Kara express something that I've experienced on long paddling trips, which is you're in a conversation with someone and you can't figure out the answer to a question and you don't have Google because you're in a remote location. They don't have internet at the moment. And so we, I've made a list of things to Google when we get back and then you sit down over a cup of coffee and you Google all the things and it's really fun to sort of rehash conversations that you've had and now you know the answers to questions. And so one of the questions that she had was this. I really don't miss the internet at all, but you don't realize how many things you wonder about until you can't Google it. Nate and I have already had so many conversations where we kind of go back and forth guessing about some topic and I want to Google it so bad and I don't want to get to the end of this trip and not have solved those, well, they're not arguments, but disagreements. <laughs> so anytime something comes up that I want to look up, I'm writing it down. I'm kind of embarrassed about some of these. I was gonna share some, but <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> okay, I'll share one of them. What is the geographic North Pole versus the magnetic North Pole? So I should probably figure that out before we get to the North Pole. Yes, what is the difference between magnetic North and geographic North? So let's talk about that right now. And to do that, I'm gonna use this apple. Okay, so hang on, I need to get one other thing. Okay. So, geographic north is the very top of the apple, with the apple representing the Earth. It is the physical top center of the Earth. And when you're using a map, the map, the top of the map, always points north. Um, and so the top of the map is pointing towards geographic north. But the problem is, if you're using a compass, map and compass i should point out is something that i have taught longer than anything that i've taught so 25 plus years i've taught map and compass when you use a compass the red end of the needle points to north but it points to magnetic north and that is not the same as geographic north which is also called true north so magnetic north is sort of offset at an angle like this because and this is very simplistic, think of the inside of the Earth as liquid rock, and inside that liquid rock is a big bar magnet that sits at an angle to the actual center of the Earth. And the end of that bar magnet is what your compass points to. That difference between magnetic north and geographic north is called declination or magnetic variation, and it's illustrated on maps with this diagram or on charts with a compass rose, which looks like this. The other thing about Magnetic North that is super cool is that it is always moving a little tiny bit um, because that sort of iron bar magnet in there is sort of jiggling around, and sometimes it flips completely. We're overdue for a flip. It's not really a big deal, just your compass points in the wrong direction. We all have to get new compasses. Um, so that is the difference between Magnetic North and Geographic North. The very top of the Earth, what I tell people, is uh, where Santa Claus lives. That's Geographic North. Um, I wonder if Kara and Nate saw Santa Claus. All right, that was it. I hope I made two minutes. I'm not sure if I did. I'll see you outside. So yesterday we paddled from here across to here. Today we're paddling from here, down here, and into the bite down here. The problem is this is open to the ocean, 